Hello everyone, Xcentaur here and welcome back to another YouTube video. Now today we're doing something very different for a YouTube video, I'm doing my setup tour. Now as you can see, you can see one half of my setup here, I have some more stuff on this screen as well which you guys may be interested in. Now, so let's start off with what you can see here first and that is my joystick which must have been the first thing all of you looked at. So let's go have a quick look at the joystick, shall we? Okay, so I have the Logitech 3D Extreme Pro. It's an amazing joystick from what I've used it before. So, you know, it's got the little throttle down here, it's got all the buttons here, and it, again, works like every other joystick. It's really cool, so I will leave a link to it in the description for the Amazon, which is where I bought mine from. Um, I link it up to Infinite Flight via Live Flight whenever I want to use it, but I mainly use it for... Um, for other stuff like um, FSX, which I do have on my computer, which you guys will all see in a minute. Um, so other than that, it's 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 a bit big. So it's a bit big for my desk, so I can move it around. But this is where I generally have it because I've got my monitor right there, which I'll show you all in a minute. Um, it's it's great size, great worth it. I recommend that if you're going to get a joystick, it does work with live flight. So other than that, let's move on to the next bit in my Infinite Flight setup. Okay, so now we got the Omighty or the Omega, the giant monitor. Well, actually, it's not that giant, but I'm only showing you the monitor for now because my other screen has some stuff in it, which I'll show you all in a minute. Now, so on my monitor, I've linked up Infinite Flight onto the monitor. I'll show you exactly how I managed to get my Infinite Flight game on my monitor. It's very different on how I did it uh, because I use Apple iOS and I've got it onto a HP monitor, which is not a MacBook. Um, in case you did realise, I did cut the audio right there because I went on a little rant about someone and I thought it's best not to include that in the video. Okay, so here we got my iPad 6th gen. Um, it's really good. I got it a few years ago and it does have a flight on it. So here we go. We, I'm doing a flight right now. Oh, uh, not maintaining space in there. Oops. Um, but I'm doing a quick flight around there. So I'm going from... Well, in fact, now guys, you can have a guess where I'm going from and where I'm going to. So right now, I'm in Europe. I'm in Europe. I'll let you guys know that. Uh, you, found, you guys will see because I've got live flight open on the other screen. But other than that, I do have my... This is what I fly with in Infinite Flight. I use my iPad. Um, I used to use my phone, but I don't really use it nowadays, mainly because of storage. And I do like to use my phone a lot. So, as you guys can see, on the far right of the iPad, right here, I have um, a little cable attached to it. And this is how I get my iPad screen here onto my monitor screen, monitor screen which is like just up there behind it. So let me go in to explain how I do that. Now there are two bits of core equipment you will need, which I will link down below in the description. Now I need you need one of these. I don't actually know what they're called, but it's like an adapter. It's an adapter. So what it does, it gets the HDMI cord which I'm holding onto, and it puts it into this, which changes it into a lightning, which allows the iPad screen to appear. So iPad screen to then appear up onto the monitor. So that's really really helpful. Um, so the other thing you need is HDMI cable, which plugs into your monitor. If your monitor does not need HDMI cable, then I'm not quite sure what you need. But as you guys are aware, monitors do not run by themselves. I do indeed have a, um, a laptop, which I'm going to show you all right now. Alright, as you can all see, I have my laptop screen here. Now, I do indeed have an additional keyboard attached to it. So I'm going to show you my keyboard then right now. So I indeed, I have a keyboard right here. It's literally, it's by its own, I attach it via, via um, USB, and I'll show you my USB adapter for my computer in a sec. I'll try and leave a link for that in the description. So right here, we have a live flight open on my screen. So indeed, that is alright guys, it, you can see where I took off. So if you're still watching this, you can write in the comments, you know where I took off to. The question is, where am I landing? And it's pretty, um, can't be that too hot, far off being obvious where I'm landing. So here we go, we got the laptop, I always follow my live flight on there, I have loads of stuff on that, that's where I mainly run off of Discord, I do not have a computer as you do not need a gaming computer to do much, um, unless you're gaming, but I should be getting one soon hopefully. So let me go into, I'll show you now, so this is my USB um, or condenser or whatever, so it has four USB ports and it goes into one USB port, so there, and that allows me to have four different items using one usb port so i, I can link up my my computer uh, my keyboard my joystick my mouse you know all three of them from just one one socket leaving me another spare socket on the other side so that's really cool so 
you know, a quick run view of my entire setup. And I also, in fact, I have this phone stand as well down here. So this is what I was using earlier. So I have, it's a bit dirty, I need to clean it up, but I have a phone stand right here, which I can just place my phone on or my iPad and I can just play games or watch stuff off of it without having to hold it. It's really helpful. So I got my joystick, I got my iPad, I have my monitor, I have my laptop, I have my keyboard, and I got that. So other than that, if you guys did enjoy today's YouTube video, um, please like, subscribe, do the normal stuff. Also, I am wearing my merch right now, so I'm going to give you a quick preview of that, maybe. I don't know, probably not. Anyway, but I'm wearing my merch right now, but here is some, here is the sleeve of it. It's the black hoodie. It's really, really cool, and I 100% recommend you go buy it. Um, if you did enjoy today's YouTube video, I know it was something very different, but I was kind of thinking like I'd give a bit of a change for a YouTube video for a little while. Um, if you do enjoy videos like this and you would like more videos like this, please let me know down in the comment section down below. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed today's YouTube video. Good night. Find your way.